Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has recently uh, published a blog post talking about the myths and misconceptions about moving on from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And this is the full post, which is quite in-depth. So I'm going to leave this down below in the description um, if you'd like to go check it out more in detail. But just for the purposes of this video, not to get things too long for the time limit of this video, I'm just going to focus on a couple of the so-called key highlights that um, Microsoft is addressing when it comes to myths and misconceptions regarding Windows 10 and moving from 10 to 11. And I'm sure that some of these statements that Microsoft has made are going to cause a little bit of debate in certain circles. Now, this blog post is mainly addressing organizations and enterprises and IT admins. But I think if you're an average home user, you could kind of relate to some of these points. Now, the blog post contains five misconceptions. I'm just going to focus on four, which I think will be more pertinent to the viewers of this channel. So the first misconception that Microsoft says is that the name change means a bigger change. So how they address this is they say when looking at the name change of Windows 10 to Windows 11, it's easy to recall the past. Now I'm quoting this from the article. They carry on to say, remember the large scale, often multi-year projects that were required to get from Windows XP to Windows 7 and again from Windows 7 to Windows 10. This is not the case with moving to Windows 11. The fact is that Windows 10 to Windows 11 is by design the same as a Windows 10 feature update. They mention that Windows 11 is built on Windows 10, even carrying a Windows 10 version number for the highest compatibility. So um, if we head to our system information, what they're talking about is that version number. So we can see that Windows 11 is still got the version 10.0.22631, build 22631. So um, the Windows 10 version number is carried over into Windows 11. So basically that's them addressing the first misconception for the purpose of this video that the name change means a bigger change. Now moving on to the second misconception and that is application compatibility is a risk when upgrading to Windows 11 and for this one I'm just going to pop this little chart on the screen where Microsoft says they take responsibility for compatibility. So they mentioned that Windows 11 is built on the same foundation as Windows 10. It's an evolution that improves upon Windows 10 strengths and addresses its limitations. Benefits of Windows 11 include enhanced security, productivity, and user experiences, all while maintaining existing app investments and workflows. So that's why they say yeah, there's 99% application compatibility rate. They carry on to say, as a continuation of Windows 10 servicing, Windows 11 is built with the same application compatibility you have come to know with Windows 10 uh, to Windows 10 feature updates. They mention that since the initial release, organizations moving to Windows 11 have observed that applications running on Windows 10 continue to run on Windows 11 without issues. So that's the second misconception and myth they are addressing called application compatibility is a risk when upgrading to Windows 11. Then moving on to the third one and the second last one for this video. Um, the Misconception number three is that the Windows 11 experience change means business productivity will be adversely impacted. So they carry on to say, the most important UI change that we made with Windows 11 is the visual aspect of the start menu and taskbar. This enables a vastly better user experience when using wide screens. No more constant swiveling from the center to the bottom left of the screen. Additionally, you and your users have more opinion options to personalize and customize your desktop experience. Now, I'm just going to stop here for one moment. The only thing I want Microsoft to bring back to the start menu in Windows 11 is to be able to resize it. I think that is basic functionality that needs to come back to the start menu. But nonetheless, moving on, they carry on to say, the start menu is also more adaptive and responsive across a broader array of devices and orientations. And they mention that you can easily switch between tablet and desktop and support multiple monitors and different resolutions, making it easier to work across different screens. 
So that's the fourth misconception that Microsoft calls the Windows 11 experience change means business productivity will be adversely impacted. And then the last one for the purpose of this video is misconception number four, which is variation in device configuration increases total cost of ownership. And they say nearly all organizations have users with different roles and personas. Each might require different applications, tools, and configurations to accomplish their duties. They mention this transition is the same for Windows versioning. As you move to Windows 11, you'll likely have devices at varying versions of Windows 10 alongside your Windows 11 devices. They mention that there are ways to minimize the disruption of this transition and total cost of ownership. And then for new devices, these should be deployed as Windows 11 cloud natively managed and for existing devices, upgrade in place to Windows 11. So that's the um, fourth misconception misconception for the purpose of this video variation in device configuration increases total cost of ownership which i think is a big one with organizations and enterprises where a lot of um, companies especially smaller businesses don't have the funds to move totally fine working windows 10 pcs that um don't meet the system requirements for windows 11 they can't move them up and upgrade them so they have to buy a new device and i think that's where the big one comes in here which I think Microsoft isn't really seen. But nonetheless, as mentioned, this is going to cause a little bit of debate in certain circles. And something to worth note here um, that is worth noting is that Microsoft is aware, obviously with this post, that a lot of users aren't upgrading to Windows 11 for a lot of reasons. And obviously they are trying to get Windows users with this post to understand that Windows 11 is not that different from Windows 10. And obviously is the right thing to do in convincing users to upgrade to windows 11 so obviously i think you know a little bit tongue-in-cheek i think uh, microsoft is a little bit desperate with this post but nonetheless as mentioned let me know what you think in the comments um i did say this was going to cause a little bit little bit of debate in certain circles and as mentioned i'm always open for good constructive um comments down below um on the channel so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one